We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hello, crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts. If you're new to my channel or you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Today is the September installment of the Christmas All Year Collab 2024. This is hosted by Betty from Scrap Passion 01 and Markeisha from Sweet Papery Treasures. For today's project, I created these adorable percolator gift boxes. During the holiday season, I love creating fun, edible gifts to give to people as a small token of my appreciation. When I created this project, I really had coffee lovers in mind. I used a digital SVG file from simplycraftysvg.com and the paper collection that I used is by My Mind's Eye Comfort and Joy. These are so fun and easy to put together and after the project review we will make one together. These percolators measure seven and a half inches tall and five and three quarters inches wide. On the top I added this pretty white lace and then I lined it with a bead of red rhinestone. And on the side here I have the baby breath and these little silver sprays. I have a tag from the ephemera collection and a little red glittered bow. This is what the back looks like. This is the second project that I've created. I love this paper. And then we have another tag from the collection. So let me show you what I included inside. So this top comes off and inside I've got it packed with biscotti, two cured K cups, and we have at least four or five pieces of these Lindor truffles. And then I lined each box with this red crinkly paper. This makes such an adorable little gift, and as you can see, it stores quite a bit. Now that we've had a chance to review this fun percolator box, I'm going to grab my materials and we can make one of these together. I'll be right back. I've gathered the materials to make our fun percolator box. I used a digital file from simplycraftingsvg.com. When you purchase your file, you will receive this PDF menu, which includes all of the files that you'll be cutting out, as well as the sizes. These are the individual pieces that make up the percolator. These two large pieces are the base, and these pieces are the lid of the percolator, as well as the handle and the spout. To save time, I've already gone ahead and glued on the decorative panel, and we are using these fun mitten images. The first thing we need to do is fold along these score lines. We're gonna do that for both pieces. What we now need to do is to join these two pieces together and here is a flap that we will glue. And then we want to attach these pieces. We're going to fold this on top of itself. Okay, so now we have the body of the percolator. Next, you want to grab this piece, which looks a little bit like a spider, and I've already gone ahead and folded along all of the score lines. What we want to do is attach these little tabs to its neighbor. And so when I fold, it's going to go up just like this. Okay, so you've got little tabs on this side, and then you've got tabs on this side. So let's start gluing these you'll see how easy it is to put together. So the piece that we're making right now is going to be the top of the percolator. I'm gonna finish gluing these tabs and then I'll be right back. I have finished gluing together this first piece and this is what it looks like. We have these tabs on the top and this will be 
inserted on the top of the percolator. You want to grab this piece and fold along all the score lines and then we want to glue these tabs together. Then you want to grab these strips. They have a little pointy side. Go ahead and fold along those score lines. And so now what we want to do is attach these pieces together. Okay, so this piece should look like this. Now what we want to do is grab this piece and we're going to attach these two pieces together. In order to do that, I'm going to grab one tab and line it up where this straight space is. Okay, we're just going to do one at a time. And then we're going to glue each of these tabs. You want to pay close attention to the score lines here. So this piece is complete. Now what we want to do is grab this piece and we're going to attach that in. Okay, so we want to press down all of these tabs and glue them in. So I'm just going in and grabbing these tabs here. So now that we have our lid together, let's grab this piece and we're going to feed this in just like so. If you just wiggle this a little bit, it'll fit in. And what we want to do is fold these tabs backwards. Okay, and we're just going to press down and hold. Now that we have all of our tabs glued down, let's go ahead and get this piece here. And this is going to go inside and cover up those tabs. And that looks nice and neat. Everything is lined up. Okay, let's grab our handle, which is this piece. And you want to fold along all the score lines. Go ahead and attach. So you've got little tabs here on the right side and on the left side. And basically what we want to do is glue this into place just like so. So it's very similar to this lid that we've created. Okay, and so now we want to take these tabs here and this little little tab here. I almost forgot it. That gets folded underneath. And now you can see the start of the handle forming. We've got two more tabs that we need to glue in. We're going to fold this under. Okay, and so now what you want to do is close this up partially, and you're just going to fold this tab over, and it's going to glue right on top of this piece here. So I'm just going to press this down, give that a few seconds to hold. Okay, and we're going to do glue this tab over. Okay, so we have our handle completed. Let's grab our top and we're going to glue on these decorative panels. Now you'll notice that this has a slight curve to it on the side. There's no score marks, but what we need to do is we're going to glue this right here and then down. Okay, so our top is finished. Let's put on our handle. What you want to do is take the smaller side and put that on top. And that's just going to fit in here like so. And the bottom as well. So when you put this in, go ahead and anchor this first tab. Just go ahead and make sure that this piece is fleshed up. Okay, and you want to glue down the rest of the other tabs inside. 
and just glue them backwards onto the percolator walls. Okay, so now that we have all of the tabs done, we want to add in our little spout. Now these side pieces here are going to come forward and everything else will be folded just like so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in the front here. And I'm just going to put a thin bead of glue on that flap that I folded forward. Okay, and then we're going to put more glue on this tab here. Okay, now let's turn our box over and then we're going to glue down this base. Okay, and we're going to glue this down one tab at a time. Just right to the score line. Okay, I'm just going to finish gluing on the rest of these tabs. Right. So now we have the bottom of the box. We're just going to burnish the pieces that we just glued down. Okay, and our little percolator is complete. I'm going to add some embellishments and then I'll be right back for our final review. I've finished embellishing our percolator pot. I think that looks so adorable. Let's now add in our goodies. I'm going to take some crinkled paper. And just put that in the bottom here. Then we're going to add in our K cups. Just line them up on top of one another. We're going to add in our biscotti. and then our chocolate on the side. And then just add a little bit more red crinkle on the top. And our percolator box is finished. This concludes my review of my fun and easy percolator gift boxes. I just love the way they turned out and they are such a sweet gift for anyone, especially coffee lovers. Hopefully I've inspired you with some new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave me a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. If you've missed any of the videos in this series, please be sure to check out the Christmas All Year Collab at the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now and happy crafting. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We